Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome to another review for tonight. And now I'm going to check out the new Trustport Internet Security 2011. The interface has changed a lot, and um, it's it's all right. It's not bad. It does give you a lot of information. I don't know if this would really be good at, a good type of interface for novice users. It's good for me because I like to see a lot of this information here when it was updated and all that stuff so I'll show you right now that it is fully updated. Uh, Trustport, if I remember right now, uses Bitdefender and the AVG engine which are two fairly good engines so we'll see how they work together. So you can see and it has an anti-spam database and a parent lock database too so it has some kind some form of parental controls so you can uh, change your email protection a parental lock protection against hackers all that stuff you can change some of the real-time and on-demand settings here what else you know you got all these little basic functions and some general settings here you can change your license and things like that you get two icons in the desk in the uh, status bar here one of them is for the interface where you can configure update do you know all the little tasks and the other one is for the actual scanner so if you go to task manager here and we look up to see how much RAM usage we have out of the program it's really not too bad while it was updating it was really high but it's moved a lot lower we got about what 50 about 60 megabytes roughly for two engines about 30 per engine let's call it divided in half so it's not too bad so let's do some testing here I have the same I don't know 13 links or so that I had uh, in my other review from earlier looks like there is a definite slowdown for Windows it's it's um, the other review for the other video was much much faster the computer definitely responded to commands a lot faster so it seems like they still have to work on that okay so I know that that one didn't work before okay that one was blocked by Bitdefender so that's good. And that one was also blocked. Okay, so we'll see what this does. Okay, so the personal firewall here it wants it uh, it's asking me if I want to allow this application out so as of right now it's just a firewall alert and I always allow firewall alerts Okay, so it looks like we have a file here. It got caught by the Bitdefender, a general a fake AV. Though it didn't stop it from being able to be downloaded. Okay, once again we have a firewall alert. I will let the firewall Okay, that one got stopped. And so did that one. 
Not seeing much from AVG yet. It's all bit defender. Okay, it looks like that one might have done something. Now I didn't see any zero day protection. Any hips, any behavior block or anything like that. I haven't seen anything like that incorporated into this. So I think all they're relying on is the signatures. Which is not a good thing in today's world because I don't care if you have 50 AV engines running at once, which, you know, isn't possible, but they're never going to detect 100%, and you need other things to supplement. Okay, so, looks like it did what it was going to do. Let's open up, see if we have anything that just jumps out at me. Nothing out of the really that jumps out. So now we're going to scan for viruses. And I am going to scan all the disks. So I'm going to let this scan. We'll see how long it takes to scan uh, before I do that. I'm going to scan the registry first. And then after that, because apparently, I don't know if it scans the registry when you do a scan all disks. So I'm going to scan the registry, and I'll be back with the result from this, and then I'll scan the disks. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so the registry scan was finished, and it didn't find anything. So then I'm going to scan all disks. So then this is probably going to take a while, so I'll be back with the results whenever this is done. Alright, everybody. <clears throat> I'm back now. It took a while to finish scanning, but it looks like it found one thing, which was a temporary internet file here. And what it did is it tried to disinfect it, and it couldn't, so it rena renamed it. So now, I'm going to reboot, just like I normally do. I'm going to run CCleaner, and then um, I'm going to run Malwarebytes. So I will be back with the results from Malwarebytes when that's done scanning. So I'll see you then. Alright, so... Malwarebytes finished scanning, and it found one thing, and once again it found found a registry key that got changed. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm just going to go to Hitman Pro and do a scan with that, and I'll be back with the results on this. Okay, so looks like Hitman Pro didn't find anything, so that's good to see. So final words on Trustport here. It's not bad. Um, it definitely did its job, but the one thing that I would worry me is it doesn't have any zero-day component built in. It's got two good AV engines, but that's still not enough in today's world. You can still get hit with something that nobody has a detection for yet. So they really need to work on putting together a little bit better detection. That being said, I'd also think that they would want to work a little bit on speeding up the program. It kind of drags on the computer a little bit. But from the last year's model, they've made some improvements. So that's good to see. Well, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to move on to maybe one more review, or I don't know if I'm going to finish all of them tonight or not, but we'll see. So uh, as of right now, I'll talk to everybody later, and take care.